Nice. Let's do this. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First thing we do is read that thing because it's book. right here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh no, I was the camera there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did just say look at her face. It's too bad to me. I'm sorry, darling. I didn't mean to throw strips all day. <laughs> Come up from that thing. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm a terrible fun. cat mom. No, no. Yeah, all is well. Uh, I'm happy to be a step on the way to a better the lap. Book, the book. Yeah, okay. I'm sure we read this. Let's have a quick look. Just... Behold in your hand oh, yeah. a colourful primer. We should invite people back. The title back. reads, A Primer for Small Kids. There's a bear involved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> we were like, we, we've read this. Yes, and the... I was sure we'd read it. Uh, but... and, and you're right, friends. So thank you. Um, there's a bear involved. Exactly what I need. Mm. This book will show you the score, get you oriented with those basic concepts you appear to be hazy on. The anthropomorphic bear will give you the lowdown of your life. On what? What? Yeah, exactly. On what? The alphabet. <gasps> Flip through the pages. Okay. Every page has one word designating yes. one letter of the alphabet with a faded. Why are you so excited about the alphabet? Most of them I want to know are what they've assigned to each letter. Principles. It oh. goes as follows. Let's okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. A is for azimuth. B is for boreas. C is for cosine. This is a B child's book, right? It's for diamite. E is for ellipse. F is for phlogiston. G is for gamut. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> H is for homeboy. I is for econ. J is for yura. K is for collapse. L is for laudanum. M is for Myriad. N is for Nadir. O is for Oriol. P is for Perihelion. Hmm. I don't think this is really good for kids. Hey, how do you... I say, I would say H rather than H. That's right. I would do the same thing. I think the husband says H. I'd be really interested to know... <clears throat> oh, not that fucking cat. I see him. Hang on. Here. Go. There's some water in there. <laughs> he's off. He's off. Okay. <laughs> Great job. My poor cat is getting plagued by a bullied. She's bullied. bullied by the the neighborhood like fucking himbo. Fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> your your cat is spades. So it's not that, but it, but he's just like yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this cat is white with blue eyes he's very fluffy oh, he's very beautiful. beautiful and extremely dumb even the neighbors <laughs> were commenting about it how dumb he is yeah yeah and like how he had like the neighbor had tried to like <laughs> spray some water like the hose at him to make him go away but the cat just chased the water droplets <laughs> fucking hell Ugh. yeah i'd love to know what the what the um the sort of lexiconal history behind oh. the people who say h Versus people who say H. H versus H. I think the husbands had a a speech tutor who was, I want to say English, English? but I'm not sure which mm. part of England she was from. Mm. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Q is for quasar. R is for rhododendron. S is for sinus. T is for tree color. These are U not child appropriate ultra. words. V <laughs> is for vector. W is for Varheit. X is for xylophone. Y is for Ustava. Z is for Zenith. Okay, great. Um, and that's it? But <laughs> I wanted pictures. I know they weren't going to give it to us. But <laughs> yeah. I was hoping for pictures. This is... This sounds a lot more like a... Um, you know, like the... Um, the alphabet they use for speaking over radios. Oh, you're talking about the, um, fin not phonetic alphabet. Is it phonetic alphabet? You know, Alpha Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie Delta, etc. Yeah, exactly. Um, I had to learn that for my first full-time job. Did you? Mm-hmm. Do you still remember it all? I remember a lot of it. But What's R? Romeo. Okay. What's, uh, X? X-ray, I think. Okay. 
friends out there, you may or may not remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. Um, laudanum. Like, yeah, we're just talking about drugs in this book for kids. That's it. You know the alphabet now. Great. Great. <gasps> Can I know the alphabet now? <laughs> uh, I didn't voice this, but uh, in what is called the IL, the international language developed by scientists from grad in the 20s. Sinus means sign, for example. <gasps> You're so smart. That's exactly what this fucking thing was. Yeah, or that, or a mix of, um, do you know about um, Esperanto? Yes, which is uh, made up, but like, it's supposed to be for everyone, but like only like three people in the world actually know how to speak it. Yes, I was right. It's called the phonetic alphabet. Phonetic alphabet. Okay. Come, um, I know the alphabet now. Good. I also know the alphabet. We're on the same team. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very useful skill to have, he thinks, <laughs> for all sorts of life activities, like reading and... Oh, no. Put the book away. That all was right. beautiful. Thank you so much, Thank friend. you for reminding us that we hadn't a primer for small kids. Amazing. Yes. Okay, we're well, going to have a quick chat to Joyce as well to see if there's anything else going on. Yes, um, several of you seem to think there is some stuff that we haven't yet said to her. So we're going to just nosy into some of those options and see if there's anything Something new. about Everett. So let's let's see how... <laughs> yeah, we're definitely turning up looking like this. <laughs> with our, with our <gasps> I have something headphones to show you. Wait. that aren't connected to anything. Did I send you the video? I have something to show you. Okay. And you've got stuff to tell me as well. But oh, let's we've got to talk about it. space. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I've been dealing with Everett again. Let's have a look at that. Oh. Oh. Uh, Ma'am, this whole thing is a takeover? Are we talking about this area? Hmm. A takeover in what sense? I don't know. Should we say this first? Help them turn up the heat on the wash. What does that mean? We're getting the 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 people who are... Protesting. I'm like putting my hands up oh, like they're like, in a rave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doof, doof, doof. <laughs> um, we got them drunker. Okay. Which is probably not a good thing. Sure, let's do it, whatever this phrase means. Let's go. Did you now? What sort of borscht is he making? The cook makes it to keep the strikers drunk, helps them strike. Of course. I feel mixed about giving her this information. But I know, so do I. I'm going to do it anyway. The strike brew. That's a classic. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in Heck it? yes. Indeed. Why, if I may ask, why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this trim thing? Oh, hang on. This is beautiful. I think I like the top option. An act born of sympathy for the working man. I set fire to the fumes of struggle. Yes. Um, <laughs> I kind of love love the bottom one too. It's uninteresting. I thought it would make the broth taste better. Oh, I like. I, I, you want the top one? Thank okay. You. Very curious. A very curious thing to do. She <laughs> blinks with both eyes. What a strange turn of phrase. Which is kind of. It, it doesn't mean like a slow. I feel like they're implying blank. a slow blank as opposed mm. to like. Just saying she blinked slowly. Because because not People blinking with always... both eyes is the unusual thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Truly. But that's how he operates. He just does things, man, and then talks about them, even if it's inappropriate. Oh, yeah. That is true. That's true. A yeah. strange <laughs> equanimity has overtaken the lieutenant. He's just going with the flow now. <laughs> Easier that way. He's finally that's gotten fair. used to us. That's <laughs> fair. What else? The whole thing is a takeover. Yes, I mean, like, it is. You, you know, what you said before was, you know, I feel a bit uncomfortable telling her everything, but also I want to know what she has to say. Yes. <sighs> and I don't think at this point her having more information is kind of going to stop anything from happening. Mm. This place is a fucking... I could be totally wrong. But, yeah, we did find out when we last spoke to Everett that... Um, he wants to basically get into politics, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a bit weird. But, you know, uh, well, yeah, great point. What I was going to say was, fuck it. We know now if we take the wrong move, we're just going to get fucking disappeared anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> we can say whatever we like. That's true. That's true. <laughs> fucking gets absorbed into happen? basically into a spaceship and fucking, you know, Harry's getting probed somewhere in an alternate universe. Okay, fuck. the whole thing is a takeover. A takeover? 
Uh, so our options here are, yes, it's not a strike. You aren't being let in because th- there's nothing to negotiate. The union is taking the terminal. Mm. Or he has told me so in his own words. He's taking it. He'll also use the drug trade to finance the harbour. I think the top one? Yeah. I don't know. If they're taking it... She looks towards the colourful mountain of crates, like toy blocks rising above Martinez. Green livery, changing into red, blot by blot. Mm. Like a cancer of the blood, metastasizing. Then we're talking about a war. Everard needs to let me into the harbour at once. We need to talk about this. I mean, we can ask him, right? Yeah, I kind of want to say this. He's ready oh, okay. for a war. They all are. I'm nodding. They yep. most certainly are not. Cronell has a thousand men on their payroll. The next batch will be a platoon of 20 men and a gunship. Mm. I've seen the Union's forces. They are better organized than these mercenaries. They also have the support of the people of Revachol West. It will take more than Cronell to wipe them out. Wild Pines will need to send more and better equipped men. Make no mistake, ma'am. Which, like, that's not necessarily a good thing either, right? No. Like, do we want civil war breaking out just because of a strike? And and we've sort of talked through um, this many times, but it's not necessarily worse for the people what's going on here. You know, are we, co- yeah, as you say, yeah, are we causing... by the union, you like, mean. Is it, is it, is it worse as you yeah. say, to encourage or set off civil war. Mm. Probably, right? I don't know. I am sure you have the money. The question is, how many years mm. and how many lives are you willing to sacrifice? Yeah. And, like, to gain what? What do you suggest I do? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's ask the first one. Will this affect your decision-making process? And that will help us think through what choices we... Mm. Yeah. First, will this affect your decision-making Everything process? Everything affects the decision-making process, Detective. Of course it does. Officer? The look on the lieutenant's fa- face conveys uncertainty. He doesn't even sound angry. For once, I don't seem to know what the right thing to do is. Okay, should we talk through what these are? It's not the RCM's job to make these decisions. Mm, the workers should have the harbour. Cut off the snake's head. Evra is pushing all this. It's a bluff. Call it. Have them open fire and see how long they last. Oh my oh gosh. No. Bring in everything you have and wipe them from the face of the earth. Uh, look at your wrist. It's apocalypse o'clock. Time to commence the gloom. <laughs> <laughs> and number eight is I wish there was a disco option. Because mm. what makes me uncomfortable is that while Joyce represents Wild Pines, who we know are just absolute fucks. Yeah, they're like corporate fucking shells, yeah? Yeah. Um, that's not to say that Evra is... Any better? <laughs> yeah, well, so what the, what the, you know, the interesting part of this story is that we have the corporate shells, the really unpalatable company, represented by Joyce, who is very likeable. Mm. And then we have... The union, which is ostensibly, but not necessarily, working for the people. It is working for Everard, mostly, but ostensibly working for the people. But fronted by Everard, who's an absolute fucking twat, right? Yeah, but also you've got, like, the, the like, normally, well, I am pro-union, but, like, um, they're doing this thing of, like, funding their efforts through drug trade. Mm. Which, like... There's a lot of layers in the mix around drugs. But, yeah, because, like, like, ambivalent, but what's the harm being done there? Yeah. Is, yeah. Um, which which is why why this is such a difficult decision to make. I definitely don't want to go with five. Let's do a process of elimination. Okay, cool. Uh, and probably not six either. And probably not seven, because that's also get in there and fight. I mean, there's a part of me that kind of wants to be like, you know, fuck it, let's all die. But, you know, that's, 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 that's not helpful, ultimately, in this option, in this situation. 
Part of me wants to say it's not actually our job to make this decision. But I feel like that's kind of a, a, a cop, cop out. out. Yeah. <laughs> should we say the worker should have the harbour? Mm. Should we say cut off the snake's head? I don't think that cutting off the snake's head is a good idea because I feel like that will just A, incense people further, and B, he's got a twin brother. <laughs> There's a backup, Everhart. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we remember, it's just wild. <laughs> I mean, that's, is that really? Is that, is that really? What's happening? That's really what's happening. He's just swaps in and out every yeah. now and then. Yeah. What about the continuity of knowledge? I guess they just brief each other. <laughs> it's all very alarming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which I feel like could be one of those things where they kind of want you to forget that information. Oh. And then like maybe you say that, and then maybe it does blow up in your face Shit. because along comes twin twin Everett Everett two point Yeah. I mean, three I kind of like, but it implies that Everett, that workers, and by default Everett has the harbour, right? Uh. <clears throat> I mean, you could argue that Wild Pines has had its go and has done nothing for this community, so why not let someone else have a chance? 100%. And, like, we were talking a little bit before about the drug trade, which I, I'm flapping my hand, it's neither here nor there in many ways because... It's a bit more complex so than good or bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's been flourishing regardless of who's been in charge. So That's true. As... That's true. Shrug. It's not like Kuna found it difficult to access drugs. No. And personally, I'm not for... Uh... Criminalisation of drugs? No, exactly. Yeah. But I feel like there's a difference between believing that the criminalisation of drugs should be not a thing like we people should not be criminally punished for using drugs i don't think there should be prohibition on them no um but that and drug mm. trade mm. are very different things mm -hmm. that's fair uh and drug trade is still fundamentally designed around taking advantage of vulnerable people i don't think it should come into our decision making here though why not because, like I said, it was flourishing regardless. Okay. I'd be happy with two, three, or eight. Likewise. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall we say this? And, like, she will take it into account, but, like, it's not our decision. The we workers just should have the harbour. And what, whatever making. Harry says, what we mean is the workers. We don't mean Everett. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Clicking. Do you think it's within my authority to give it to them? Oh, yeah, we can't do that. Do you think I can control the board and the shell-shocked mercenaries they've sent? So really? what are you going to do then? What will I do? She says, slowly looking around. Did I ever tell you how they discovered this Isola? During our reality lowdown. Uh, no, yeah. no. It may be the only break we've ever caught as a species. The last one for 400 years. Why is that? The nations who colonized this isola called theirs Muindi, the world. It was all they knew, all they thought would be. That there would be something more was a gamble akin to another world, or life after death. Almost a little bit how people felt about uh, fuckhead Columbus. Mm. Like going off to the new world. Quite unquote. The pale was thought to be impregnable, perpetual. Irene la Navigateur, the queen of Siren, sent eight expeditions, one after the other, into the mass at the edge of the world. Five of the crews did not return. Two did, but had lost their minds. Shit. Each of those expeditions would have been led by an admiral. Sounds like a purge. Like she was purging her political rivals. <laughs> okay, sounds, sounds political. political. There was no precedent for such an undertaking. People thought she was punishing the admirals, or had gone mad, or both. Until after years of trial and error, and the development of a strict psychological regime imitating the creation process of poetry. Ooh. 
Okay. Call Volta Doma, or return from the sea. Okay. The eighth expedition returned sane and intact. They told of a new continent of matter. They told the Queen and her counselor, <gasps> Dolores Day, that the pale had begun to condense day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute. What does that mean? Slowly raining down until it formed a vast ocean. <laughs> it starts raining again. Mm. The air is cold and scented with petrichor. Mm. There are rain circles on water all around. Humidity crawls up your back like a piano trill. I put your hand in the rain. So does the lieutenant. His mouth is slightly open as he looks to the sky. What a weird feeling to live in a world where you are in a tangible space and there is more tangible space Elsewhere. out there. But... Like, in between this pale. Yeah. I must say I do kind of think of the real world like that a little bit. Like, there's oh. a part of me that thinks that other countries are just made up. <laughs> you know? that, you're like, practically doesn't matter over there. <laughs> Friends, you do no, matter. No, it's not that it doesn't matter. It's just like, is it real? Sounds, <laughs> sounds fake, but okay. Kind of thing. I bet you, I bet you people feel like that about Aotearoa, New Zealand. Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, I'm sure people do. <laughs> Where the fuck is that? <laughs> the droplets feel warm, like spring rain. The ocean? The phenomenon has never again been encountered. For a time, the crew thought they were experiencing a hallucination. The mass hand proclaimed, Lancelind, Lancelind, the signal to wake up. But they could not. They were sane and conscious, as islands began to appear on the horizon. There are 78,000 uninhabited islands in the insular Indian archipelago, officer. The freckled face of God. That's a lot. Mm. You've thought it a million times. <gasps> yes. After life, death. After death, life again. After the world, the pale. After the pale, the world again. A total shift in human comprehension of reality. On the second day, a great skewer was shot down above the flagship Lizargique. The bird was preserved and brought back, along with pollen. Mm. Four Ooh. years later, the Queen's counselor was proclaimed her innocence, Dolores Day, the elected world spirit. The age of humanism, internationalism, and parliamentary rule followed. We were high. We've got a few options. We've got leaving us here. Uh, the Great Skua was the first bird they saw. And this was the last break we got. And it's raining. I really like this, but mm. I'm wondering if we'll come back. Mm. And I kind of want to ask this if we, or both of these, if we're going to... Can we go with the Great Skua first? And yeah. Then, yeah. The first living autonomous organism. Proof of reality. It's the symbol of Insulinde, Detective. The coat of arms of the suzerain and the wings on the crest of the commune. I seem to have it in for it. Or it for me. I broke one. <laughs> in your defense, it is a nasty creature who plucks food from the throats of lesser birds. Okay. Yet much like Revachol, it is also magnificent and rare. Imagine the suzerain of seagulls. Okay. There was a sting in oh, your sweet. heart at the mention before when she said its name. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Uh, leaving us here. On Caillou. The pebble. The largest of the fertile, uninhabited islands of the northeast Insulindian archipelago. Four centuries and two revolutions later. And now we can ask, and this was the last break we got? The nations of Mundi proceeded to discover five more Isolae. Or they discovered us all in the rush of the great inter reconnection. Interesting. But these others weren't uninhabited. We had to kill people there. Wipe out indigenous populations. Head to, that's interesting economies. phrasing. Or they came to do the same for us, or had done to each other. But here... Yes, there's some wild generalizations going on in there. Mm -hmm. 
There was no one but the skewer, the Liliat Sea, and the Blood Beach, and the River Esperance. It was the new, new world. The Mondials used it to amass the greatest concentration of wealth mankind has ever seen. Revachol, the suzerain. What happened? Revolution, poverty, and the mercurial rise of capitalism. Mm. Mm. It's raining. It is. Soon it will be spring and everything will blossom. The gangs will run wild, taking motor carriages, ferrying amphetamines through Cold City. Spring is tough in Revachol. Mm. And what will you do? I will take your advice, Lieutenant Chiafreta. Oh. I will surrender Terminal B to the Union. I thought it was not within your means. She puts her hand in the rain. She's silent for a second. We will see. Ooh. Ma'am, this may well unravel property law this side of the river. If that occurs, we may never see the end of this kind of confrontation. The next time there will be two strikes, then four, then a hundred. Mm. What happens will happen. She takes the end uh, in her rain slick hand and starts untying the boat. She takes the end. I think she mean it means like off like her hoodies, her hood's cord. Untying the knot. The age of capital <gasps> has only begun. I will talk to my employers in person. We will amputate and cauterize Martinez. If you handle the situation on the ground. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Doesn't say we got any pluses or minuses for anything. We just have very high chance with this. And given we've got a high chance, I'd like to just go straight into it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the ninety-seven is really always just like if you get snake eyes, snake you you've lost. But right. otherwise, you you you're you're sorted. Okay, so we she generally avoids that term with her employers. Um, I don't know what she means. This means because she hasn't said. She oh, says we, we will entertain. We will. Mm. Okay. There are no employers. Look at that She's a member of the board. Oh. oh. Shit. You, you are. are the Wild Pines. There are no employers. You are the citizens' militia. There are no superiors. What? Of course I have superiors. Mm -hmm. That's right, Detective. And next time, you should confer with them before you go setting events. She was just it. asking our opinion and we gave it! Shit. Despite his words, he's not really sure whether to be annoyed with I him. I mean, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. A, it was a, it's a shit situation, right? Like, it's a situation where there is no clear right or wrong. There is no... This is definitely the good choice and this is definitely the bad choice. And the, the only thing that we really could have done differently and say, mm, not really for us to say, but as you pointed out, that's kind of a cop out. Like, because there's not a good right or wrong, mm. why don't we throw our opinion in there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, rather than just sort of see how it plays out, you know? Yeah, like... We we have as much of a right to opinion as anybody else does, right? Well, I would think that the people who live here have the most right to an opinion. Well, that's probably fair. Um. Mm. Events are already in motion. Whether your actions accelerated or momentarily retarded their progress, even the lieutenant cannot really say. Either of those are final. We've got, even after all yeah, this time, I still do don't really one. understand who you are or what your angle is and what are you... Yep. I answer for my own actions. I don't hide behind some faceless organisation. Mm -hmm. Here I am. I am the face, and I'm here to answer. Rejoice, Leighton. <sighs> You're going now? Yes. Mr. Clare has a two-month head start. I can't let it grow any bigger. And I've exhausted all my options from here. Wow. Okay. She's just going to bail. I mean, not bail in that, that sense, but she's leaving. Okay. Goodbye, I guess. Understood. Let her go. Keep the peace, and I will keep my end of the bargain. I mean, we'll do our best. How far along is Cronell's investigation? A confrontation is imminent. They have followed in your footsteps. Uh-huh. As your investigation reaches a climax, so does theirs. They are your shadow. Arm yourselves. 
armour yourselves. You knew we were about to get shot at yeah. this whole time. Protect their targets. Violence may be unavoidable, but we can limit the casualties. Who do we think their targets are? The Hardy Boys, probably? So, yeah, and Klaja, and probably Ruby. Like, I guess the question is how much of the case have they unpicked? Mm. Like, she says, it's one of those things where it's like the tension between uh, reality versus this is a video game. Like, um, I find it difficult to believe that they've got the same information that we do because... We've got that information through getting elab- people to talk to us. Elaborate process of charming the pants off people. <laughs> uh, and I don't think half of our witnesses would have been willing to talk to the Krenel people. No. Mm, interesting. So when will they, should we, should we ask, when will they make the move? Where? Soon. I do not know precisely. They have cut off all communication, you see. They know I've been feeding you information. Ah. One last thing, Lieutenant Dubois. I've given the matter much thought and come to this conclusion. You're not an amnesiac. You're insane. Okay, yes, and? (laughs) What's your point, lady? I know, because I, too, am insane. I just hide my illness better. And I'm rich. That is one way that people hide their illness. Well, I was going to say, they don't get called insane if you're rich, you get called eccentric. Uh, Okay, let's ask these ones that are not concluding. Yeah. uh... Yeah, (laughs) it's this reaction to the top one. Let's say uh, you're over-radiated. Or do you want to say, how do you keep it together? Yeah, either of those. How do you keep it together? The same strict psychological regimen the 8th Admiral developed when he crossed Mm. the Pale and discovered this Isola, the Volta do Mar. It's used by inter-Islary travellers and other troubled souls, even to this day. You could use a little of it yourself. Okay. Uh, You're over-radiated. We already knew that, but let's ask it anyway. I'm overexposed, baby. My travels take me through the Pale dozens of times a year. I've got the longing. And I've got it bad. She points to her heart. Longing for she what? She would die to return to it. <gasps> the pale. The past. Anything one can return to. Mm. Uh, I guess the top one. Isn't everybody a little insane? No, detective. No one's as insane as you. <laughs> the gloves. The plastic bag. The itchy pants. <laughs> the silk kimono. The meshed up end. The p- piece we, we've, got our, stance. we've got the headphones on. The it, headphones right? that are connected to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and can, just calmly standing The difference us. between <laughs> us and what was her name? The pigs? It's not so far. No, it's, that's true. No detective, no one's inside it. You... Don't worry, madame. I am very sane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Um, so we've got three <laughs> options, which is. Goodbye, Joyce Almissia. Goodbye, rejoice, Slayton. And then goodbye, near the creature of the forbidden, <laughs> near the creature of the forbidden swamp. Um, I like this one or this one. Five. Five it is. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye rejoice, Slayton. Watch out for yourselves. They Secret task. Soon. Find a solution to strike deadlock. Shit. Well, I don't know if it was a good solution, but it was a solution, and I guess and we'll find like out. She's gone. I'm really worried about what we'll see and the consequences of that decision. Yeah. But we will, I'm sure, find it out soon. The lieutenant watches her boat grow smaller on the bay, its white sails fluttering. With worry in his eyes, he does not know if it was the right thing to do. But he doesn't say anything. What I'm curious about is if you chose the in the opposite direction... Or you chose not to say anything at all if you get the same response from Kim. Mm. Like him being unsure about whether or not you have made the right call. Mm -hmm. You wonder what Everard has to say about this. Someone did say that we should go back to Everard after we speak to her. The sails turn grey blue as more oxygen gets between you. Mm. Which I have mixed feelings about. But anyway, let's have a look at what all the things we've got. So we got two skill points. Mm. Um, we 
I think we completed a quest. I'm not quite sure. Oh, this. The secret task. Finding a solution. Um, there is a secret way to solve the deadlock. It's not easy. It includes a, back, a lot of back and forth between two sides, but it's possible. Everything is always possible. Mm. Mm. I feel like we feel real mixed about that. Mm. And we got a new f- thought somewhere in there. Um, is it this one? Were we, were we researching it, one? Oh. It, here there we go, we go. The Interlindian mi- Miracle. You were reminded of a poem somewhere deep inside you, the translation of which you don't remember. Nulla sarà cambiato della luce. It begins. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing all of this totally wrong. Um, do you want to have a go at the second half? Is oh it? no. Um, Colori com grigio e marron. Tutti stampati uno salatro. Trovai on vuoto una macchia bianca. This is very difficult. This is Gli- Spanish, right? Gli altri uh, giardarono cebelle. Oh, well, maybe that could be could be could be something else. Uh, che uh, bella is it giornata? Che bel tempo? Ma senti la rot. Diva. Oh my gosh, I struggled through that. You go now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you were reminded of it when you heard about the discovery of the ins- of Insulende. But what does it mean? And how do you know it by heart? Ooh. Ooh. I kind of really want to do that. But we'd have to... We'd, have, we'd, we'd lose two points in the process. Forgetting something and then... Um... Mm. Empathy and esprit de corps. No, that's too much stuff. Perception. Raised to five. Mm, I think we want to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, this we could get rid of. Yeah. Because we have to take our shirt off for it to even do anything. Yeah, and we never did get to fight Measure Head naked. So. That's right. <laughs> and it'll even give us a plus one to Encyclopedia in the process. Mm. So shall we do that? Sure. Okay. We're forgetting you. Sorry, Coach Physical Instrument. In another life, we will... Uh, bring you to your, your zenith. Um, okay. Cool. That didn't take two points, actually. It just took one. Okay, nice. Um, cool. All right. Wow. To Everett, I guess. To Everett. Um, yeah. Although, what's the time? I think we're going minutes. just under an hour, I think, so. Not 36 minutes. A, an unknown amount of time. Yeah. That's, I think that might be a nice place to call it. Okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Hang on. I really want to do one more thing. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a but if the next one goes, oh no, it's going to go to bed. It's going to take forever. It's going to take forever. No, yeah. no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm saving because we've learnt better, and um. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> As it has to go and get up early, this is going on a, on an adventure. Yes, I'll tell you all week. about it when I get home. Yeah. I'm going on one of the great walks. Yeah. With some How of many family. days are you walking for? Four days, three nights. Okay. Mm. Yes, you'll be walking through the nights. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> how it works. <laughs> All right. Thank you for encouraging us to have that conversation. I'm actually really glad that we did. Yeah. Even though I feel kind of like mixed about the whole thing. I think you're supposed to feel mixed about the whole thing, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm curious, um, what choices did you make, friends? Cause, yeah. Um, Although we don't want to know too much about different outcomes because we're going to play this game again. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe not the consequences, but what did you choose? What did yeah. you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like, like in terms of like the morals of that thing, situation did you think it's do you think it's better that we supported the union or do you think it's better that we like like obviously it's a difficult choice but like what do you think the the best route is in terms of like right because having made this choice i don't know that it was the right one no yeah 
So, but I think that's exactly what they how they want you to feel. Yes. That's why even Kim didn't tell us off. That's he was right. just like, ah, well. Shrug. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably fucked either way. It's just how fucked. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And on that note. Uh, we will catch you next time. Oh, I feel like I need to wish you well. Okay, you can wish people well. Oh, wish right. people well. Um, it's just been Easter, so I hope you've had some wonderful chocolatey treats if you celebrate. Fuck it, even if you don't. Hope you had you some deserve wonderful chocolate. chocolatey treats. Whoever and wherever you are. Yeah, so we'll catch you next time. See you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>